A few months after the victory of the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran, the so-called Mujahideen Khalq group headed by Mas'ud Rajavi found its ideology in contradiction with that of the main political groups that supported Ayatollah Khomeini's doctrine aimed at forming an Islamic Republic. On June 20, 1981, the MKO decided to conduct terror operations against the government. The terrorists were responsible for numerous bombings and assassinations against high-ranking officials, as well as fighting Iranian troops from Iraq, standing side by side Saddam Hussein in his eight-year war with Iran. Fatima Karimzadeh is the widow of Abu Qasem Sepehri, a tailor in south of Tehran who was killed in his shop by MKO terrorists. It was the fifth day of the holy month of Ramadan in 1985. My husband was fasting when they killed him in his shop. He was a pious and well-reputed person in the neighborhood. Later, I discovered that the reason the MKO shot him was his strong belief in Imam Khomeini. Fatima, who has also lost a son in the Iraq-Iran war, says that MKO members will never have a place in Iran again. Ibrahim Khodabande is a former high-ranking MKO member who knows the organization inside out. Author of the book One Man, One Day, 30 Years says that despite claims by the group that they would no longer use weapons, terror attacks are still a part of MKO ideology. They were looking for an alternative. Apparently, they haven't found anything. Their activities have been limited in Europe. And they are trying to um, get into coalition with any terrorist organization they can find, whether in Syria and Iraq or anywhere else, to just let the world know that they still exist. Uh, as the British say, they are still uh, living and can kick and bite. The group is also believed to be responsible for the killing of thousands of Iraqis during Saddam Hussein, when the MKO also operated as mercenaries for the Iraqi regime. The families of more than 12,000 victims of terror are still looking for an answer to why their beloved ones had been assassinated by the members of this group. They also question the action taken by the European Union for pulling out the name of Iran's most notorious terrorist group from its list of terrorist organizations. I'm Mehdi Kazemi, Press TV, Tehran.